Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Debbie Jarvis, and as my colleague shared, or I want to call them my BFFs, got a lot of BFFs in this room tonight, or this afternoon, but I am the third co-chair for this incredible event. Uh, and this is actually my third time co-chairing. And also, like Pinky, I have the distinct honor of serving on the Women's Foundation Board of Directors. But also, as the Vice President of Corporate Citizenship and Social Responsibility for Pepco Holdings, I do a lot of these events, but I do a lot. Y'all have seen me out there, I've seen you all too. But there is something extra special and charged about this one in particular. It's not just because it's filled with a lot of women in the room. Well, yes, it is. Um, I'm especially excited to present this year's Visionary Awards. The Visionary Award recognizes dedicated trailblazers and change makers for their exceptional work inspiring and supporting women and girls on their path to prosperity. So first up, there is no other major metropolitan area that has a trifecta of female leadership like we have right here in Washington, D.C. Amen, sister. We have Mayor Muriel Bowser. We have the Chief of Police, Kathy Lanier. And we have the Chancellor of D.C. Public Schools, Kaya Henderson. Today, we are honoring them as trailblazers. My name is Kaya Henderson, and I'm the Chancellor of DC Public Schools. I was raised by two incredibly strong women, my mother and my grandmother. And so I come from a tradition and a set of expectations where women are leaders. I'm Kathy Lanier. I'm the Chief of Police in Washington, DC. I think of it as doing what my mom and my grandmother taught me to do, is get up and work hard every day. Muriel Bowser, Mayor. I'm very privileged uh, to be mayor of my hometown. I am uh, very pleased uh, to, to be able to work with Kathy Lanier, who is uh, an outstanding uh, police officer and manager of police and um, leader of public safety across our city. I'm thrilled to work with Kaya Henderson. Uh, we are known around this country for having one of the longest periods of sustained leadership in public schools. This is an incredibly important leadership moment for Washington, D.C. With Mayor Bowser and Chief Lanier and I, three women in the top leadership positions. The three of us work very well together and we have a common vision for the kind of growth that this city can experience. To be a part of this group, very exciting and a lot of energy for young girls and women when the three of us are going places and you look at the little girl's eyes when they watch the mayor speak, it's, uh, it's really amazing. You may be surprised how closely uh, that the little girls are paying attention. Uh, and I was frankly very surprised uh, when I was on the campaign trail, some of my biggest most energetic supporters were eight-year-old girls. And they are excited to see a, a woman lead the city. I always make a point when I'm out with the police chief and she's in, has her four stars on, to say, listen, this is a lady police chief and, and this is somebody that, that you can model and follow. The challenges that I had to overcome are very similar to what I see in my job every single day and kids in our community. I was a young single mom myself and uh, overcoming the challenges of getting my education. You know, I stayed focused and went back to school. I think part of the reason why I do my job, the way I do my job, is because I'm a mother, and I want the same things for all kids in D.C. public schools that I want for my kid. I'm often the youngest. I'm often I'm one of few women, and I'm often one of few black women. Uh, and I always know that I come extra prepared to every table. I think it's really important um, that we are serious about um, how we take care of our women, how we educate our women, how we grow our women, um, because they in fact influence everybody in society. Whatever role other women can play into strengthening that self-esteem, lending some courage uh, and confidence to some other young woman that may need it is critical to keep you know, women and girls you know, where we are today, leading the country and leading, you know, big cities. And I'm here now for her. Ladies, 
and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Muriel Bowser, Mayor of Washington, D.C., the Metropolitan Police Department Chief of Police, Kathy Lanier. Well, good afternoon, ladies. I am very uh, happy to be here and grateful to receive this award. Um, and I want to thank the Women's Foundation for all you do in our city each and every year. I am uh, thrilled to be accepting this award with Kathy Lanier, our fantastic chief of police. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> And you, you can join me in wishing Kathy a, a happy anniversary. Kathy just celebrated 25 years on our police department. <laughs> and she is among the longest serving, uh, in the longest tenured police chiefs anywhere in our nation. I also want to congratulate and acknowledge and know that you all join me in um, real pride for our chancellor of schools, Kaya Henderson. Uh, and Kaya couldn't be here today. Uh, but Kaya is on her way to being among the longest tenured uh, public school chancellors anywhere in our nation. And we are recognized throughout the nation uh, for our consistent and robust commitment uh, to school reforms. Uh, and what's uh, really great too about being mayor is I've had the opportunity to interview, recruit, and hire a lot of great women. Um, I tell everybody, you don't have to be a woman to work for me, but it does help, it does help. <laughs> So, you know, we have a woman who heads our crime lab, a woman who is our chief doctor, my general counsel, it's a lawyer, uh, and so many women lead our organizations, including our Department of Behavioral Health. You have to check out the District of Columbia, because we're also looking for our t chief technology officer right now, and wouldn't it be great if it was a woman? <laughs> So I want to thank some great women who are here with me today, Kimberly Bassett, who leads our women's office on policy, and Beverly Perry, who is senior advisor to the mayor. So you know that, what that means. She's in charge. And I want to thank all the, the wonderful people of Washington, D.C., who are tremendously um, behind all of our efforts. We've spent these first uh, nine months and some change really focused on an agenda that the people of Washington, D.C. sent us down for. And that's really kind of simple in some ways. That's to keep the progress in our city going forward and to make sure that we're including more people in that progress, growing pathways to our middle class. And we, when we know when we invest in women, make sure we have a level playing field, make sure that we are supporting programs that help women of every level of the economic ladder. And I so appreciate the reminder at today's luncheon that women are at every level of the economic ladder and when things are tough they're usually tough first for women and children so we have been very committed to focusing on housing and investing in, in affordable housing we've been very committed to making sure that we're training our residents for good paying jobs that we're invested in schools we're in just invested in early childhood education but in also making sure that women are represented in leadership positions. We know when we have women leaders, we have better policies. <laughs> when we have women leaders, we exercise a level of pragmatism. When we have women lead, I'm talking too long, but I'll just leave it with this. When we have women leaders, we can put egos aside, roll up our sleeves, and get to work. Um, and that is why... I am so proud 
uh, to be able uh, to be the leader of our city at this time and work with great leaders like my good friend and the leader of our MPD, Kathy Lanier. Wow, what a what an honor this is to be here and get this award. I uh, I called my mom last night. This was one of those ones, you know, you want to call and tell your mom about. <laughs> it's extra special for me because you know, 30 years ago, somebody telling my mother that I was going to get a visionary award <laughs> would have been a stretch even for my mom. But honestly, listening to Alexis up here, she, she hit it right on the head. I, I will tell you, 30 years ago, um, I was a different Kathy Lanier. Maybe not, maybe the same Kathy Lanier, but 30 years ago, uh, I was a 16-year-old single mother that had dropped out of school in the ninth grade, and I was living on welfare. So I had very few opportunities. There was no vision. But I am here today with two master's degrees and the chief of police in the nation's capital. tell my mom about that too. Um, not only that, I'm, I'm working for one of the strongest female leaders in our country and alongside one of the smartest female educators in the country. What a privilege. I say all that to say, I, I don't accept many events, speaking engagements, lunches. I just took a couple days vacation, so I have to wire my jaw shut. I come here and there's chocolate mousse cake in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> but I came here and I wanted to speak here primarily because what I accomplished would not have been possible without support and opportunities. So my mom and my grandmother, like Kaya, provided me with the support because think about it. How do you get an education and get a job if you don't have childcare? And how do you pay for childcare when you don't have an education and you don't have a job? It's a cruel world, isn't it? So my mom and my grandmother provided the support to help take care of my son so I could go back to school and I could work. And the Metropolitan Police Department provided me the opportunity I need, a job. And I will forever be grateful for the opportunities I've been given and work as hard as I can for the people of Washington, D.C. for that opportunity. But that's what you all are here about today, to provide either that support or that opportunity. I see hundreds of Kathy Lanier's on the street every single day. Little girls, young women, and grandmothers. All of them that just need a little support and one opportunity. So if you can provide that in any way, it changes people's lives. I don't want to see people, like Alexa said, when your education stops, your whole life stops. Because for so many people, like myself, it wasn't just my life, it was my son's life that stopped. So keep doing what you're doing and keep supporting the women in our community. We all need you. Another round of applause, guys. This was awesome. Thank you both for your leadership and showing little girls, big girls, and all the bigger girls here in the room this afternoon that whatever you do, you can grow up to be whatever you want to be. You just got to do it. We're sorry that uh, our dear friend, uh, Kaya Henderson, uh, travel schedule didn't allow her to be here with us today, but she sends her, her gratitude and she was so excited to, uh, to, you know, just have the idea of being in this room. She is here with us in spirit. <laughs>